all right guys welcome back to maybe be the final update for the m1 combat system but we will see so what did i change first of all i changed the up tilt it's way better now and it work always well definitely most of the time and um, let me show you it real quick yep it's it's way better i also don't use body velocity anymore it's uh now a line position which is yeah way better than body velocity for stuff like that and then i oh, let me show because uh, let me show you the script first i also moved uh, a lot of the script from script, script from here uh, into the utility module so check that out if you want to change some stuff and yeah because i wanted the script to have under uh, 500 lines and uh, that's what i achieved so this is the uh, line position stuff i think i have it actually in actually in here um no i don't How do I? Wait. Uh, concern. No. Mm-hmm. Okay, do I? Can I? Oh yeah. Okay, it's in here. Uh, here. Okay, yeah. Um. Yeah, you can uh, change the stuff or the update up here you can change the speed the height oh damn i misspelled that I misspelled that <clears throat> uh, and uh, the time you stay in the air yeah that is the uh, update length length oh, i don't know <clears throat> then i made the rock module better uh, it's just for performance uh but yeah then I also added uh, better mobile support because someone asked me to do uh, also a button for the punching. So I added, added a button for the punching that you can see here. Yep, you can't, uh, uh, oh. you can't punch anymore when you tap on the screen. Now you have to uh, tap on this button. And as you could always saw here, I added like a little cooldown in UI. Yeah. And if you, oh, if you want uh, the mobile support uh, to still be triggered when tapping on the screen, you can just remove. Um. You can just remove. Where is it? Mm, yeah, this line. Just remove this line, 113 and 117. Uh, and if you don't want a mobile, uh, want a want a cooldown UI, you can first of all delete the cooldowns um, UI and start a GI. Then remove the cooldown module. And then go into your um, fist blocking local uh, script. Remove this line. And then remove. And no, wait, not, not this line, not this line. This line. 18. And then remove also this line. Yeah. If you don't want to have that cooldown thing. And then I also added um, a, a better Rector system. But this Rector system just works for players. Sadly. But yeah, I'm still gonna show it. And I added... Wait, can I, I can show it real quick. Uh, this dummy. You can take the animations from this dummy. Uh, that are the animations from that one Mob Psycho Battlegrounds game 
and someone gave them to me. But you can use them and put them uh, in your game. Uh, yeah, let me show you the rector real quick. And let me go to that one. Yeah, it also made the hitbox better. Uh, but yeah, it's a better uh, record system. Uh, I made a I made a hitbox bigger. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Because before it wasn't really a good hitbox. But yeah. Oh, and it's not uh, something very important, but I added uh, an loader script into starter character script that pretty much loads everything in replicated storage before it's being used. Yep, that was already anything.